Welcome back to Crypto 6.8 channel and in this video we're going to take a look at how to hyper compound trunk on elephant money for passive income. But before we get started, if you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. Let's get started. So hyper compounding trunk on elephant money for passive income. Income. Let's dive in. So want ongoing passive income? This is just one strategy on how to do it. Now the first thing I talk about or introduce you to is elephant money. So I, you would have seen some other videos on my channel about elephant money and if you haven't seen those go and have a quick look now. Uh, but I'm going to jump in straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is bond your trunk into Stampede. So we'll quickly look on elephant.money and have a quick look here. Uh, there is some videos on how to mint trunk which you can do by typing in how much you want minted and then pressing the mint and you can check out some of the other videos on how to do that. Once you've minted your trunk from the reserve, you can come down into the bonds area, which is the bonds that we're going to uh, put into Stampede. Now, before you do that, if you do want to earn an extra half a percent uh, reward, uh, you can do so. All you need to do is have a look at the description of the video and you will see my partner address in there and just type that partner address in or copy and paste that into there and click on update as purely optional uh, and the reason for that is if you have a look at the instructions here it'll you see how that we share in 50 50 so there's a one percent rewards on deposits and one percent rewards and roll so if you don't have this you don't get those extra rewards and you must follow the requirements of minimum of 100 101 trunks so just make sure you go through that and understand that but it's purely optional. If you if you don't want to get that extra half a percent, then don't worry about it. So uh, you need to do that first, and then come along here and you can try out this bonds. Now, if you're not sure about any of this stuff, you can watch any of the other videos, uh, and it also you can bond a small amount of money to, to start off with. And because in this example, I'm talking about a large amount of stuff, but you can try something smaller and just see how it works and then understand how, how the concept of how it works, why it works, and then go from there. So let's go back to our thing. So bond your trunk into Stampede. So we'll come along to Stampede, we'll click on bond, and we put in the bond amount here. So we're going to type in, let's say, you know, 10,000 or 20,000, and then we're going to click bond. And then once we bond it, it will appear in here under bonds. So then what we do is you want to roll daily. So let's go back here and have a look. So we get these rewards on a daily basis. So today I've earned about just over $4 in rewards. And what you do then is you click on the roll button and this will roll your rewards into back into your bonds and this is the act of compounding. So that's the next step. We want to roll daily. Then we want to roll until you reach your target. So whatever target you have in mind with these bonds, um, whatever that target that is, you want to roll or keep adding onto your position until you get to that stage. And I'll show you an example in a minute of how that will work. So for example, with mine, my, my bonds, I might want to get to uh, $20,000 initially because uh, I don't have that $20,000 initially to put in. So what I'm doing is I'm building up that 20,000 and then I'll commence the next step. But you know, if you've got a, a lazy 20 and you understand what you're doing, you've done your own research, because this is not financial advice, I'm just talking about what I'm doing. Uh, but you can check this out. And if you were to put um, 20K, then you would be starting off um, at what this example I'm gonna talk about. So you reach your target. And then once you reach your target, you wanna roll and claim once a week. Now, you can certainly uh, claim every day if you want to and claim all your money back. And then uh, what will happen is it will reach the maximum payout and then you won't, and that maximum payout is pretty simple because once you, every time you get rewards and you roll or you claim, they go into payouts. And when payouts uh, equals maturity, there's no more money to be paid out. It's as simple as that. Bonds is always 2.05x. Uh, and that will give you the maturity. So that times 2.05 gives the maturity. And when payouts equal maturity, there's no more money to be paid out. So just be aware of that. So when we go back to rolling and claim once a week, I'll show you in this example next why you would want to do that. So your bonds, if you do that, just claim once a week, your bonds actually continue to grow and your income continues to grow. So let's have a look at this daily 
interest here. Let's scroll up. So let's say we put in $20,000 at 0.56. Now for this example, I'm just going to show what happens when we basically do one every five days. So this is 80% reinvest. So essentially once every five days, I'm going to claim, uh, but I would probably do it once every seven days. But for this example, just once every five days, which is means that we're going to be reinvesting 80% of all our awards every day. So I'm gonna do this over four years because I wanna show you what's gonna happen. So $20,000 in, earning 0.56% daily, and this is compounding, includes weekends. And we essentially, initially if we want it to be more like faster and get um, better results, we would obviously reinvest 100% until we get to that desired amount. But we're just gonna start off showing 80% um, and it's a little bit slower, but you'll We'll get there. So if we click on calculate and scroll down here and we'll have a look. You can have a look at what's going on. So what it's actually saying is we start off with $20,000 and four years later our bond value which is this here, this bond value, this bond value is now $13.7 million which you know seems like a crazy amount of money but bear with me, this is the magic of compounding. So the, so the bonds will be 13.7 million. <clears throat> now, when the, the way the bonds and the maturity work, if the bonds are 13.7, that means that times that by 2.05 and you will get the maturity. And remember that as soon as your payouts equals the maturity, there's nothing left to pay out. So in this case, so the the bond would be about 13.7. If we times that by roughly 2.05, we're going to get uh, around about 26, 27 million dollars. And the interest is only 17 million dollars over that time, okay? Now what that means, this interest is essentially this uh, payout here. And remember that the payout must be less than what the maturity is. So the maturity is 2.05 times that, so it's going to be in the range of 20, maybe 27 million dollars. But even though the, this is the value of the bonds at 27, the maturity is going to be 27, the interest is only paid out is 17.1 million. So what this is means, this is growing. And if we scroll down, and then this uh, example, we're taking, let's say, once every five days. And in that time frame, we've taken about 1.4 million dollars out. So if we scroll down, started with $20,000, let's have a look on a yearly basis. Have a look here. So you can see how we started off, and this is from now moving forward. So you look at it and we go, the first year, uh, if you did the 80% and you'd be cashing out about $11,500, okay? So you remember you only you originally put in 20. Uh, so in the first, uh, this 2022, the rest of this year, you probably only get another 11 uh, back if you wanted to. And you could put that in your pocket or you basically 50% you're recouping your costs um, during this 2022. Then we have a look at the following year. Now you can easily see uh, by the end of 2023, we've cashed out nearly $68,000. And remember this is only claiming once every five days. So... Yeah, with that in mind, we've easily got our other, um, you know, I think we're at 11, 20, so we had about nine thousand, eight and a half thousand dollars left. So in this second year, we've uh, cashed out about 68,000. So we've certainly uh, got the money back from our investment in our second year, which is pretty amazing ROI. So now that we've got our investment back, um, our actual balance is which is the balance is the actual bonds. So we go back to here, this is his bond section here. And you can see how it's growing. So it was 66 in the second year, at the end of 2023, it's 338, 2024, 1.7 million, 2025, 8.8 .8 million, 2026, 13.7 million. See how it continues to grow. But if you have a look at the earnings, uh, they are also growing and also the cash out. So the first year, 11,000. Second year, you could take out up to 68. And third year, 350,000 if you wanted to take out. And uh, in 2025, which is the fourth year, that's one about 1 1.7, 1 1.8 million. 
And you'll notice this is a little bit less, 1.2 million, because it's got a little asterisk next to it, uh, because it, f it falls into that time frame of 2026. So uh, if you extended this a little bit further, that would be a higher amount of cash out. But the point is that the bonds are continuing to increase, so is uh, your income is going to increase, and you don't necessarily have to take out uh, the cash out. You might be happy taking out fifty thousand dollars a year and reinvesting the the rest. And because you got to, if you want to uh, look at it as part of a like a, a savings or a nest egg or a, a superannuation, or basically a way like your own personal bank. And why would you take all the money out of it um, just to then go into another opportunity? If you just take out just the right amount, maybe once every five days, six, seven days, you can make a substantial living after maybe even two years, even in the second year. And uh, if you want, you can claim up to that amount and this will continue to grow. And as you can see, that the difference between the interest and the maturity, because at this stage the maturity is about 27 million and the interest at 17. So there's still plenty uh, of, um, because of that gap and it, of that earnings and you're only claiming that once every five days, this will continue to grow. So if you were to do it once every day, you can try that. You can actually come back up here and you can type in, uh, we can change that to 50-50 and you'll see what I'm talking about. So if we were just to roll one day, and then take the next, or we do a, um, essentially we're claiming one day and rolling, compounding the next. That's a one, one. You'll see, you'll notice how the, the bonds now is around about 1.2 million. And you'll notice the earnings is about 2.3. Now, when you uh, times the 1.1 by 2.05, which is how you get maturity, you'll find that's close to $2.3 million. Now, if you notice here that the total paid out is basically $2.3 million. So in this case, if you had rolled one day and claimed the next, uh, what would happen is you would have a maturity and the payout would be equal to the maturity, which is what you're seeing here. And it means that it would not pay out any more money because you've taken too much, uh, claim too much and you haven't let uh, the bonds grow. And so even though they are, it does, even with that in, in mind, you still have taken $1.1 million uh, as income and you started with $20,000, okay? And that's over a period uh, of four years starting now. So that is still substantial, but uh, if you were to do it the other way where you take less, you can see with the other method, because we only got to take maybe 1.1 out, and our bonds were about one, and that's where it about ends. But as I said, if we went uh, more to do once every five days and we calculate it, instead of being like a million dollars over the four years, uh, it becomes, you know, 13 million of bonds and pay, and we in that period of time, the same time, we've taken out 3.4 million. So we've actually taken out more uh, because we allowed it to compound longer at a higher uh, rate. We've put 80% for compounding, you know, that once every five days or once every six or seven days. And that is the difference. Um, so if you believe in this protocol and you understand how it works uh, and you believe that it will be around uh, in, you know, two, three, four years, this is the kind of um, gains you're going to see on your bonds and this is the type of money you're going to see. If, uh, if all that pans out. So um, I was just wanted to share that with you. And, uh, and basically the best part is your income continues to grow while the bonds co uh, continue to grow. And you can access it anytime, uh, every day you can access that. And also, you know, it's there for, you know, emergencies or it's, it's there for whatever a thing that you want to use it for. And not only that, what I, I, what I did mention as well is when this, this part where you actually are taking this cash out, you could be, you know, putting that in the bank if you wanted to, but you could literally be coming back to elephant uh, money and you could be staking that money 
and earning you know 60 30 60 percent apr on a stable coin and as you can see here a hundred dollars usd and i've already earned two cents rewards in a in less than an hour or so so uh, you can imagine if you were to stake uh, in this you could then pull this out at any time and redeem for busd if you wanted to do so so that's just an added as aspect of it. So very excited about this project. I hope you do your own research, uh, dive in. This is not financial advice. If you wanna watch any more videos about uh, Elephant Money and some of the other videos I have, just go along to a YouTube channel, check that out. And also on uh, the website, crypto618.1, you can come along here and subscribe to the newsletter. Uh, it is free, but if you would like the premium content, you can pay for that also. And the premium content includes uh, portfolio updates and certain strategies that are revealed. And uh, also, if you would like to uh, join our Discord, we've got a private Discord group. We're only just getting started with that, so I invite you to join that with me. And we, if you've got any questions, uh, I can help answer those questions uh, in that group uh, and that's that's what it's there for because it's basically it, it, it's there for you guys um, for support uh, in you know making money on because it's it's pretty hard to to do that if you don't know what to do so that's why I've got this group and we can answer any questions in there all right I hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you have please leave a like and uh, if you'd like to see more videos, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. And I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks, guys. Meet John. John works in his day job as an insurance agent. He hates his job, but he goes to work every day because he has to. He makes 55 k a year, but he has a $500,000 mortgage hanging over his head, so he can't leave. Meet Bob. Bob is John's friend. He got into Bitcoin when it was only $1,000. Bob made millions in 2017 when Bitcoin hit an all-time high. Now he's just a professional bum, lack of a better word. Bob keeps telling John to get into cryptocurrency, but John's too busy at work. Does this sound familiar? What if you could find the next Bitcoin, or the next Ethereum, or the next chain link, before the rest of the crowd found out? Well the opportunity is here right now, it's called DeFi or Decentralized Finance. This is the next evolution in crypto where you can stake, lend, borrow and farm your crypto, and earn interest on your money. If this sounds like mumbo jumbo to you, don't worry. In a nutshell, instead of having your coins sit in a wallet doing nothing, you put your crypto to work for you and earn passive income in return. Basically anyone with cryptocurrency can earn a passive income if they know what they are doing. Over time, your crypto can grow bigger and bigger, until it's making you a sizable return to either supplement your current income, or replace your full-time job. Let's get back to Bob. Bob's not a genius, he's just resourceful. He got 100x Crypto Academy to do all the hard work for him. 100x Crypto Academy will research and analyze DeFi projects for you, so you don't have to do any work. Imagine finding low-cap gems for $2 to $5 that could potentially moon 10x, 20x, even 50x. What if you discovered the next Bitcoin or next Ethereum or next chain link? Profits are made early. Finding these hidden gems with the least amount of risk and maximum amount of profit is what 100x Crypto Academy do. Don't be like John, busting his butt all day at his day job, but he never gets ahead. Be like Bob, he puts his money to work for him while he does what he loves, like play golf. For more information, read the rest of this page, and we hope to see you inside 100x Crypto Academy.